What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Matt here, and today we have Dominaria Remastered Collector Box number two, and this is for my Facebook group member, Duck Thomas. Appreciate you sponsoring this video, bro. Hopefully, we get you some beefy pulls. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, and uh, you can get into some of the beefy giveaways we do here. I don't know why I just shuffled that, but I did. Uh... I like how easy these packs open compared to the previous ones. I don't like how intact they stay. Very easy to reseal, I believe. I said that in the last video, but the more I open them, the more I realize that's probably going to become a huge problem. But uh, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? This is the same pack one, pull one, from the last box. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Duck. These pesky Triskillians are all over these boxes. Are we going to get a triple toot pack? I've seen lots of double toots. Jessa, Birds of Paradise. And I say Jessa, Birds of Paradise like it's not a good hit, but it definitely is. I love the birds. The uh, I'm going to be honest, the retro foil birds is probably my favorite card in the entire set. If we're throwing monetary value out the window... Just off pure nostalgia and uh, what makes me happy, the retro foil birds is it. So we probably opened uh, a ton of these live in the Facebook group. And these boxes are insane. Lots of Triskelions, lots of Grim Lava Mancers, but also a ton of Tutors, a ton of Force of Wills, etc., etc. So pack two here for Duck will be a Palashik Mons. So let me put the uh, the normal hits right here. I'm trying to figure out my piles. As long as I've been doing this, you think I would, I'd have it figured out by now, but I just, I flat out don't. Windborn Muse, Arborea, and a Glory. It's one of the more pedestrian packs I've opened. These basic foil lands, almost worth the price of admission just for those. They're so dang pretty. And I know I've said it before, but uh, maybe the most fun I've ever had opening packs. They really knocked this one out of the ballpark. Nice card here. Beautiful artwork. Jester's Cap Retro Foil. Borderless Foil Oversold Cemetery. Another two. So many tutors in these packs. And a Helm of Awakening. Retro Duress. Swamp. Cross and Restore. <laughs> A study. Jeez Louise. So many ridiculous hits out of these. I don't even know. I just don't even know. And I know this is only my second video, but if you've seen what I've seen coming out of these packs, you would definitely wonder how they're currently at the price point where they're at, because they definitely should be more expensive. Zer the Enchanter. <laughs> Extended or borderless, excuse me, borderless time stretch, Lieutenant Kurtar, and a clifftop retreat, normal foil, a pair of juggernauts there, spirit monger, and Fidia Seer. Next up. zombie token in the front now wrath of god's not a terribly expensive card anymore these days but if you get a borderless foil wrath of god it just it's a very pretty card and it just feels cool lotus blossom crawl space and big daddy urza chain lightning nice and common there gorgeous planes and let me get a sleeve for urza Just taking my time with these. There's no reason to reason to rush. This is a real chill. Borderless foil. Last chance for the beef. Mystic Remora. Zyra. And an Elder Dragon. Arcades. Sabbath. Mistress Factory is really pretty in retro foil. But what isn't, right? Trevor's Ruins. Cleric. Sleeve up this last chance. 
And I can't say enough about how nice the cardstock and foiling is in this set. It just really, really stands out. They use the same printers that did Ultimate Masters. Another big hit, Borderless Foil Oversold Cemetery with Entomb, Sulfuric Vortex, and a Crawl Space. Mystic Enforcer Retro Foil. Used to be a huge guy back in the day. Sleeve up these hits. And move on to the next pack. So it feels like Force of Wheels are roughly, from the, the small sample size that I've seen, is probably one in every other collector box. Retro Chainer into a Borderless Gamble. Retro Retreat, beautiful card. Vortex and we got Chainer's Edict. Just a little bonus borderless there for us. Wild Growth and a Chain Lightning. Sleeve this up. And looks like we got four booster packs left. Hoping for one more good pull here, at least for Duck. Let's see if we can get there. Helm of Awakening. Was this originally a Visions card? Borderless Dragon. We'll take it. Maze of Itch. And Savine's Reclamation. Mark Pool, Retro Foil Island. You got blue in your deck. That's definitely something that's going to make it in all my decks that use blue. Are those foil islands for sure. Next up, Retro Foil and Tomb, Sebi McKinnon Art, Wrath of God, Pyre Zombie, and another worldly tutor peregrine drake swamp brexing ghoul and a howl from beyond sleeve these dudes up here one more time two packs left so far pretty solid glory glory hallelujah absorb up next, you're not here for my singing. At least I hope not, because it is terrible. Overmaster and a Cryptic Gateway. I used to really like this card. Was it Onslaught originally? Really like that card. Swamp, Zombie Infestation, Primal Boost, and Duck. It's time for the last pack. May the beef be with you on this one. Can we get you something? I saw blue and got excited. Hunting Grounds Borderless, that's a little hit. Jester's Cap, and a Pyre Zombie. Not too shabby, pretty decent box. Appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you for sponsoring this duck. Um, means more to me than you'll ever know. I love all your faces, and we will catch you in the next one.